Hey, what's up? This is y'all, Sweet Joe, and I'm here to show you and how to master the Do Not Delete chest, useful as a platform where there is none. So originally, when the game came out, there was a glitch in White Run where the merchants would sell it in their inventory. I had a friend and actually said he had bought one, so I know it's true. And I'm assuming you needed the merchant perk since it was a miscellaneous item. Now, it's supposed to represent a merchant's inventory gold. On PC, it can be deleted and it breaks the game, disabling all the merchants. But uh, it replaced Klimix Supplies, which does the same thing, floats in midair. But there's three different values, 200, 250, and 500, and they stack differently in your inventory. But they're all going to be found beneath houses and structures in the void when you wall after you wall breach so i found a total of 69 of these throughout tamriel so 69 that you can possibly find and they also show up on the local map rarely but there's a few examples of the little rectangle there now most of them you need one or two already to acquire so you have to start out with certain ones so a lot of people started out with dragon's reach jarl's quarters you breach through the wall and grab it right as you come through but it's kind of risky because you can get a bounty and there's also yeah in the upper rooms the office in the y'all's bedroom through the wall there's also one near the steward's bedroom you kind of got to go through this pillar here and you can grab it no, if you guard sees you, you get a bounty, but once inside you're gonna head upstairs to the second floor in this first room here, the dining area I believe. Um you're gonna put down a platter and then you're gonna go through that back wall right there. Boom, that's pretty simple. And there's a nice little deck of sorts and just grab this do not delete chest right there there's another one in Rooston Fishery drop a platter in this back office over the and you're gonna go through the wall over the crate here so drop a platter and push through the wall right there and there's gonna be a platform for you to land on go over to the left or right and you can see the square edges of the water just drop on right near the edge look over you're going to see the edge of the building swim under that and there's the chest and notice it's not stolen so you can also get a non-stolen one at your vascular living quarters after becoming the harbinger completing all the quests and there's one beneath the archmage's archmage's quarters after becoming the archmage and this is rare because most of them are going to have the stolen tag that you cannot remove. Well, first I'm going to show you the back off method. You only need one to do this. On the edge, turn around and look straight down. Back off. And drop a chest and you'll safely land on it. Make sure you push back away from the edge. Yeah, you don't want to be too close to that flooring. And you don't want to drop too far. But you can also... In case you do fall, you can come back and use the additional chests that are still floating there as extra landings. Yeah, most of them are going to be stolen. Can't remove the stolen tag, but... Alright, building stepways. So what you're going to do is, when you want to move across... You're going to point your cursor, crouch down, point your cursor down at a negative 45 degree angle. Like so. Let's see, that one's too slanted. I can't land on that very good. So I'm going to try it again. I'm going to move down, move up, move over a little bit, drop it again. This time it's a little more manageable. So stand up so you're above it. And you can just tap your jump button, bunny hop over. You might have to practice that a little bit because you don't want to go too far either. 
jump drops, look straight down, jump at the height of the jump, drop your chest. It's harder to retrieve your other chest though when you do that. Now you can reverse exchange the sprint button with the toggle point of view button to make things easier. And there's also the look sensitivity, move to the right to speed it up. And that way you can look straight down very m much more faster than you were able to. Like, So this is useful when you breach a wall and there's no ledge and you have to look straight down real fast. That really helps with that. Yeah, when, yeah, any area that has to load is a new area with its own chest and items. Do a quick save every time you jump to each chest, because you never know if you're not going to land it. But you can save yourself if you push against the chest, and move over and look straight down and drop another one. You can actually save that jump as long as you don't fall too far. practice that sliding down the edge a little bit yeah sometimes your follower will mysteriously appear on a chest and push you off it's kind of annoying it doesn't happen too often but it does happen so be careful of that no you can actually look straight down do a whirlwind sprint it doesn't always work but drop a ch chest at the end to go a long distance do this under the orc longhouses. Yeah, sometimes when you drop your chest, the gravity is weird, so you have to move your foot up and down. Move your footing a little bit up and down to safely stay on. If you have about 6 to 11, preferably 11, get in a tight corner crouch. Look almost, almost straight down, not quite always. Drop it, and you'll start going inside of the chest and just keep dropping them staying crouched keep adding and adding and adding it doesn't always work but sometimes you'll end up just popping through the ceiling if you're all the way up almost there you could stand up and sometimes it does it but I thought that was pretty cool you could do that it's a more advanced move but you probably won't have to use it very often but it is possible under all the shops there are merchant chests with all the inventory you can take in the next video i'm going to show you all of that where to find them where to find the thieves guild chest and uh placeholder chest and all the do not delete chests like subscribe and join